In studio with me is my guest for this afternoon, Dave Nyberg. Hi, Dave. Hi, Tori. Thanks for having us. Uh, absolutely. Get real close to that mic, uh, r- r- as close as you can. There you go. So we want to be able to hear you. He is the executive director for Valencia Technical Institute, and we'll be talking to him today about his plan for this school, his background, and how it will affect you, especially if you're interested in that line of work. He's got some great ideas. So first of all, Dave, welcome to... Uh, uh, 1220 AM, uh, KHTS. Let's hear about Valencia Technical Institute and your background. Okay, we're uh, trying to open a school to teach uh, the local community residents that are interested in learning high technology skill sets uh, for the future, uh, electrical engineering technology, to become uh, qualified electrical engineering technicians um, in support of engineering um, operations in high technical businesses around the area. Fantastic. Your background. I, I understand you have a huge amount of uh, experience in this in this line. That's correct. I got my start in the U.S. Army over in Europe and uh, went to school, got my degree, came out, and I've been an electrical engineer ever since, about 30 years. 30 years. I would say you, you're pretty, you're on professional level there. <laughs> I think I am. Okay. And you're, uh, you're a mentor? That's correct. I've been mentoring um, uh, technicians and uh, uh, interns that come to us from the local colleges around the area for about the last six years uh, as a principal RF engineer at Advanced Bionics. Now, what does a mentor in this field do as far as do you, you show them things? Do you tell them things? Do you give them notes? Do you, is, it, is it hands-on type of situations? Correct. All of that. We, uh, we bring them in. We give them assignments to do. We teach them the nuts and bolts of what it is that they really need to know in order to get the job completed. And typically, that doesn't always align with the courses that they're taking in school, we found out. Well, I, I found that out, too. You know, sometimes uh, classes at college, college is great. College is great, but sometimes then you need to go out in the real world and you have to actually touch things and do things, and there you got to build the bridge. That's exactly from right. From college into, you know, uh, hands-on stuff, and that's that, where you come in. That's exactly right. We're, we're interested in supplying... A need uh, as an engineer, we, we hire technicians. Engineers are, are usually responsible for hiring their technicians, and it's become apparent in the local area that uh, really well qualified electrical engineering technicians are very hard to find. Now, when you mentor, when you, you've been mentoring, um, you said the last six years, mm-hmm. something like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, have you seen some of these, uh, I want to say kids, I don't know if they're kids or not, uh, but the, the people who you're mentoring, have you seen some success stories uh, from, you know, coming out of college, you mentor them, and then they move on? Have they been successful from A to B to C? Correct. Absolutely. We've uh, got several of the interns that have come through the program where I work. Uh, that have now gone on to be professional engineers. One of them uh, in particular uh, is on the front page of our website. Fantastic. And the website is scvtech? Dot org. Dot org. That's okay, us. we'll be given that. We'll be given that throughout the uh, the interview, just to make sure you want to. If you want to check things out, you can go to the website. Okay, so uh, you've been a mentor. You've had your own experience. Uh, you have mentored people who now have been successful in their own careers. Correct. And so now you're you're in for it. You, you long haul. You want a school. You want Valencia Technical Institute, and you want you want everyone to be able to come through and get this hands on experience. How long will it take to uh, get this certification? How long does it take? It's a one-year program. It, uh, it ends in an uh, internationally recognized certificate from the ISCET. Um, the target audience that we're trying to bring in are veterans that need retraining. We're trying to bring in uh, folks with disabilities. We're trying to bring in adults that want to change uh, their job and improve their careers and, and their incomes. We want to bring high school students uh, to uh, attention for the program so that we can, we can get them interested in technology and get them through. A one-year program sounds pretty intense compared to, you know, four years of college, you take a couple courses, you know, you have some fun, <laughs> you move away from home for a while, right? Right. One year seems like this might be pretty intense. How intense is this program? It's pretty intense, but here's the key. Mm-hmm. Nighttime and weekend classes. Two classes a week. Oh, okay. So you just have to be ready to go when you get to when you get to school. Two to, two days a week, you said. That's correct. And you got to be there. You got to be focused and ready to go Absolutely. because it's intense. But you do have time to do other things. You ha- you can have another job. You can hold down another job in the daytime. That's that's one of the key purposes of us starting the curriculum based around the courseware from ISCT. It's very straightforward. And you were talking about cost because cost. I have my daughter's in college. 
And uh, I don't have to tell you that I'm constantly, you know, I'm I'm the woman at the checkout now, you know, digging for pennies and nickels when I'm paying for stuff, right? right. I'm that person. I've turned into that person. College is expensive. It's about 30000 bucks for a similar program in most other types of institutions that can teach this kind of skill set. Uh -huh. This is a focused trade school type of approach mm -hmm. and uh, the tuition is probably about one-sixth and we do offer financing uh, interest free, interest free financing I might add we have uh, certain discounts that are applicable for certain people and depending on your circumstances the tuition can actually be lower even than that so you have you you interview uh, incoming possible students, and you see what their situation is. You see uh, where they are as far as levels. I'm sure there are different levels. Maybe people come in a little bit more experienced, maybe not as experienced, Correct. novice. So you have you can take care of all of those absolutely at we've, any level. We've been doing it for many years. We know what we're doing. We're we're experts in the field, and it's time to give back to the community in that way. That is so wonderful. I'm so excited for you. This is Dave Nyberg, Executive Director of Valencia Technical Institute. If you want to see the website, if you have any questions at all, let's start with scvtech.org, right? Good That's place it. to start. You betcha. Now, if they go to scvtech.org and have any kind of questions, they can... Click on the link. It says contact us. We'd be more than happy to give you all the information you need. And it's as easy as that. And how soon, okay, let's say, uh, you know, this fall, maybe I want to get something going. How long does it take from start to finish? You know how the application process for college, it's a long process. You have to start and then you do the essays and then you, do, you know, so start to finish, how long does it take for the people to finally get into school with Sh you? Shouldn't take more than a week or two right now. We're trying to draw interest for students. Mm -hmm. As soon as we can fill the first classroom of 30 people, the school is open. Done. Excellent. Congratulations, Dave. I wish you all the luck in the world. SCVTech.org. You can find all the information there. If you, if you have any questions, click on the contact me and they'll get right to you and your associates, Absolutely. I'm assuming. Is that Absolutely. right, Dave? You betcha. Excellent. Dave